the true end of the Odyssey. It so happened that in a faraway part, right on the border between the Mediterranean Sea and the Black Sea, in the Anatolian Peninsula and southwest of Mount Ida, a little princess named A. Samuel was born. Some time later her younger brother, the little Trojan Prince Hector, was born. They had a life of luxury and privilege as sons of King Priam, ruler of the magnificent city of Troy. However, fate had other plans for them, for they were kidnapped by the Greeks when they were still children and left to be devoured by animals in the dangerous forest on the island of Imbrus in the Aegean Sea between Greece and Troy. Days turned into weeks and weeks into years as the two young brothers struggled to survive in the inhospitable forest. As she was older, Isamel cared for her brother by providing drinking water and fresh fruit during the day. She also provided shelter in caves to hide him from ferocious and poisonous animals during the night. They were alone, lost and often hungry, but never lost hope that one day they would be rescued and returned to their beloved home in Troy. One day, a woodcutter searching for wood in the dense forest found the two lost children and took them in, raising them as his own. He took them to the peninsula and taught them how to hunt and forage for food, how to make shelter, and how to survive in the jungle. They grew strong and brave under his guidance and soon became known throughout the country for their incredible hunting skills and their unwavering determination. As they grew up, their foster father began to suspect that they were not the children of ordinary peasants, but the missing sons of King Priam. He shared his suspicions with his neighbors who together decided to seek more information. So he called them and told them the whole truth. They did not want to abandon their beloved foster father, but he convinced them to return to their rightful place in Troy with the promise that they could come back and perhaps get him to live together in Troy. However, before they could return, they had an idea, but they would have to face those responsible for their kidnapping. But they wanted to end that long war and restore peace between their nations. I Samuel and Hector set out on a dangerous journey to Greece, traveling through treacherous mountains and stormy seas. They encountered numerous obstacles along the way, including dangerous beasts, hostile tribes, and dark valleys. Finally, after long and difficult months, they reached Greece. In the dense forest before the city they suddenly came across a mythological beast. After a long time fighting that ferocious beast, they were surprised by a young warrior who, like lightning, wielded his sword and struck the beast's head with a single blow. They were then welcomed by the young warrior, who was surprised and moved by their story and only then revealed his name, Achilles. During a welcome banquet with plenty of food and drink, they discussed the possibility of peace between their nations and an end to the bitter war that had lasted so many years. At first, Achilles hesitated, knowing that the people of Greece had also suffered much in the conflict and peace would not be easy to achieve. But the Trojan brothers A. Samuel and Hector were determined to end the conflict and bring their people together in harmony once again. And this was their opportunity to put an end to the war that had taken so many lives. With Achilles' help, the brothers drew up a peace plan that would be delivered to King Priam of Troy and Agamemnon and Menelaus of Greece. A fair treaty for both parties. First they convinced the two Greek kings then they said goodbye and returned to Troy with the treaty in hand, ready to present it to their father, King Priam. When they got there, their father, who was already elderly, was very surprised by the arrival of his sons, because he believed that they didn't even exist anymore. They told him the whole story. At first, Priam hesitated, not wanting to trust the Greeks after so many years of conflict. But when he saw the sincerity and determination of his own sons, he realized that it was time to bid farewell to their abdication and embrace a new era of peace and prosperity. The treaty was signed and a great feast was held to celebrate the end of the war. I Samuel, Hector and their foster father were welcomed into the palace as heroes, and their bravery and determination were celebrated throughout the country. They fulfilled their purpose, 
bringing peace to a troubled land and showing that even in the darkest of times, hope and love can conquer all. As for Achilles, he would go down in history as one of the greatest warriors of all time, remembered not only for his prowess on the battlefield but also for his willingness to put aside his differences and work for a better future for all. I Samuel, Hector and Achilles did fight a battle, but against the rancor of two nations marked by hatred and rivalry. Their memories will live on, a symbol of the strength of love and the power of forgiveness. The image of those true heroes will remain forever etched in the minds of all future generations of Greeks and Trojans.